साइरा स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू दी थर्ड रिविजन पार्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर सिक्सटीन वॉटर सो लेट्स रिकॉल वंस अगेन वॉट एवर सो फार वी हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर सो स्टूडेंट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्पोक अबाउट द सिंपल मेथड ऑफ वॉटर प्यूरिफिकेशन सो इन दिस पार्ट वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव टूक अ एम टी प्लास्टिक बॉटल एंड वी हैव कट इन टू अ टू पार्ट द माउथ पार्ट वी हैव इन्वर्टेड लाइक यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर and at the bottom we used a cotton cloth and again on the top of that at the bottom we have put a powder coal and again on the top of that we have used a fine sand and a coarse sand in this what we have done we have put a muddy water we allowed a muddy water to go through all the three this layer so the muddy water when they go through all the three layer they get filtered out and at the bottom we get a clean and clear water the water might look clean but that doesn't mean that the microorganism will be absent in that the microorganism must be present and we have to boil a water before drinking it but student this is not the convenient method for uh, water purification we have to use a water purification method at a larger level so at larger level at water work we are using a uh, in the larger amount the method of the water purification so there are basically four ways of water purification which has been conducted at the commercial level so as you can see that here student a uh, settling filtration oxygenation and the chlorination so these are the four ways of purification of water at the water work so let's see that one by one so see students what we do in the settling process so in the settling process as i told you the water from the water source is allowed to stand in the larger tank what we are doing in the settling process we are allowing the water to stand for a longer time so what will happen because of this whatever the muddy particle will be there that will be settled down at the bottom and then we are putting an alum in it so when we put a alum the alum purifies the water and it helps the muddy particle to settle down at the bottom at the faster rate so this is how the settling process looks like so in the settling process on the upper side we get a clean water which we can use for drinking and the other purpose whereas at the bottom there will be impure water which can be separated very easily so this is the one of the way of the water purification which can be done at the water work the second method of water purification is that filtration so what we do in the filtration so in the filtration process the water is filtered using a filter machine so through the filter machine the water has been passed and water has been easily filtered out so you can see that this is how the filtration process looks like so in the filtration process the water has been passed through a machines and the water has been purified at the faster rate so that whatever the impurities are there it will get separated from the normal water the third type you can see that here the oxygenation we have already discussed that whenever the water gets polluted so in the polluted water the level of the oxygen decreases so if the oxygen level decreases that water becomes not fitable for the microorganism and the animals which are present in it so there is a danger for a microorganism and the animal so that's the reason the oxygen level has to be increased inside the water so that's why student in the oxygenation process we use a air and the water we allow a air to mix with the water with the help of the water pump so with the help of the water pump or the air pump we purposefully put a air what does this causes this causes oxygen from the air to dissolve in the water so when the oxygen from the air it get dissolved into the water the level of oxygen in the water get increases and the water helps to become a pure so you can see that there are so many machines are situated there are water pump and air pumps are there these water pump and air pump they allow the air to pass into the water and this allow the process of the oxygenation so these are the four ways of the purification of the water and one of the process has been remaining that is the chlorination so what we are doing in the process of the chlorination 
in the process of the chlorination we mix the chlorine in the process of the chlorination we mix the chlorine into a water so that the germs will be killed very immediately so to kill the germs the chlorine has been mixed into the water so you can see that like this the chlorine water has been passed to the water bodies so that the germs will be killed and it will be safe for the drinking so usually in the tmc etc during rainy season the chlorine has been added to the water and student uh, you must be visiting to the water park etc so even in the water park also the chlorine has been added to the water so when the chlorine has been added to the water the germs will be killed and the diseases will be prevented from uh, passed from one person to the another person so this is how the water has been purified at the various level so we have spoke about the four ways of the water purification the first one was the settling then we spoke about the oxygenation then the chlorination and the filtration so these are the four ways of the water purification now what else we have learned students now you uh, if at some places it did not rain for a very longer period of the time what would be its effect on the life of the people out there if it is not raining for a longer time in particular region so what uh, will the effect on the people and how the land will look like this is a situation of that area this is how that area would look like without water there will be crackling inside the uh, on the land and there will be deficiency of water because of the rain only the water level get increases in the ground level and there will be less and less amount of the water so what this condition is called as student yes this condition is called as what drought so what causes a drought a deficiency of rain it causes the drought so drought is the condition where there is a negligible amount of the water which causes the deficiency of the rain also so in that region the crops and the plants they are not able to grow properly and in the area also the people are not getting enough amount of the drinking water as well so this is the drought condition so because of the drought condition students temperature is very high so because of the higher temperature the water evaporates very continuously that's why the places where it does not rain for a longer time that region experiences a drought at such places the water level falls in the river well lake bonds and the dams so everywhere the water level goes down and down and at the same time students you must have seen that some of these may even go dry as well the land also dries up due to the evaporation like this so humans and the animals suffer from the scarcity of the water so not only the other animal also the human being and the plant also they also suffer from the scarcity of the water that means the deficiency of the water and as you all know that a water is a life without water our survival will be in the danger so we require water for the survival purpose so because of the drought condition the scarcity of the water has been created so students as a result of this there is no water for the agriculture so when there is no water for the agriculture we won't be the farmers won't be able to grow a crop a crop production is not possible without water for the production of the crop a water is mandatory so if there is no water there will be no crop production if there is no crop production there will be deficiency of the food also so whenever there is a deficiency of the food in the same area and there will be many people who might die because of the hunger so that condition is called as what famine condition so what is a famine condition famine it is a type of the natural disaster so in the famine condition the people in the local area aren't able to get a enough amount of the food material and they may die because of the hunger so this is called as what famine condition and it is a type of the natural disaster so students as you can see that in particular region a grain and the fodder becomes scarce during the famine condition people are not able to get a normal staple food as well you may have read about the famine in our state or in the other country or in some part of the world right so students like this you can see that a people living in there have to face a lot of hardship 
एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स इन दोज एरिया दे सफर सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दैट एरिया यू कैन सी दैट ओवर हियर द गवर्नमेंट टेम्पररीली मूव द पीपल एंड द एनिमल फ्रॉम द फमाइन स्ट्राइकन एरिया टू द सेफ प्लेसेस वेर दे कैन प्रोवाइड दैम विद द वॉटर फूड ग्रेन एंड द फोडर सो द गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू हेल्प द एनिमल्स एंड द पीपल हु आर लिविंग इन द फमाइन एरिया टू गेट दैम द बेसिक नीड ऑफ द लाइफ दे आर ट्राइंग टू सपोर्ट दैम दे आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प दैम टू कम आउट ऑफ द सिचुएशन ओके एंड सम ऑफ दैम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू सेटअप अ फोडर कैम्प गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू सेटअप अ फोडर कैम्प फॉर द केयर ऑफ द डोमेस्टिक एनिमल फॉर द पीपल हु आर लिविंग देर सो दैट दे कैन बेसिकली फुलफिल द बेसिक नीड ऑफ द वॉटर फूड एंड शेल्टर एंड देर विल बी नो पीपल विल डाई बिकॉज ऑफ द हंगर द बेसिक नीड ऑफ द हंगर विल बी फुलफिल्ड सो दैट्स वाई स्टूडेंट्स ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव टू यूज द वॉटर वेरी केयरफुली सी वी आर गेटिंग इनफ अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर एट अवर प्लेस दैट डजन मीन दैट की वी विल वेस्ट इट वी विल यूज दैम लाइक दैट ओनली if we save the water at our level so in some part of the world there will be a sufficient amount of the water which can we transfer them so student use the water very carefully and again at the same time do not waste the food material whatever food we are getting into a plate we should say thank you to the farmer because of the farmer we are getting the food material because of the rain water because of the crop we are getting the food material and we are alive today so we should be thankful to the farmer because of them we are surviving to together today so always remember that in some part of the world there are few child who are suffering because of the hunger they are not getting enough enough amount of the food material to eat and at least we should be thankful that at least we are getting food material to eat so if we have the food in our plate we don't have right to throw it if we are throwing the food into a dustbin we are doing insult of the farmer we are doing insult of that food material so use the food very carefully so students i hope so you remember you understood regarding the process of the water purification so how many methods of the water purification has been done as you can see that here settling filtration oxygenation and the chlorination what else we have learned today here today we spoke about again regarding the natural disaster which is also called as what famine condition so because of the famine condition there is no water for the agriculture as there is no water for the agriculture there will not be sufficient amount of the crop so because of the uh, deficiency of the crop there will be a deficiency of the grain and the fodder and that condition is called as what famine condition it is a type of the natural disaster okay so students henceforth try to respect the water and the food material do not ever waste it take only that much food material into your plate so that you can completely eat it do not waste a single amount of the rice or anything from your plate eat it completely otherwise don't take it into your plate unnecessarily understood so try to respect the food which we are eating and try to respect the water which we are drinking today okay so students we will stop here we will continue this session into the next lecture bye bye take care